This video demonstrates how to apply the bearing load on the part and solve for the stresses. Let us begin with the tutorial. Create a new static structural file. Pick on this, drag it to the area where you can find the green dotted lines. Right click on the static structural, rename this file. Rename it as bracket. Enter. Double click on the engineering data. The default material is steel. Change its density to the metric unit that is ton per millimeter cube and its Engs modulus to megapascal. Once the material property and its unit along with the values are defined returned to the project. <coughs> Import the CAD geometry. Right click, pick on Import. Browse for the CAD geometry. Currently, there is a CAD geometry called as a bracket. Extension is Step. Pick on that part. The geometry is now loaded. Double click on the model, which will take us to the simulation window. Orient the model in the desired direction and pick on isometric. Right click on the static structural, pick on insert, use fixed support. Support this face, pick on apply. This particular face is now completely fixed in all degrees of freedom. Apply the bearing load on the cylindrical surfaces. Right click on the structural, insert, pick on bearing load. Confirm the geometry by picking on the cylindrical surface 1, press hold control, pick on this face. Pick on apply, geometry is now selected. The bearing load will be defined based on the components that is to in the Y component. Enter the Y component as 100 Newton. Once the force is applied, it is the time to solve the problem. Insert the necessary solution quantities like stress, Von Meister stress. Right click on the solution, pick on solve the problem. The mesh will automatically update it and solution will not take much time as this part is comparatively small and there are no contact definitions. Pick on the equivalent stress and note the stresses areas. Animate this behavior. Pick on the equivalent stress. Now pick on the view. Pick on the windows. Pick on reset layout. Pick on the stress and pick on simulate. You can find how the stress is propagating in the model. You can see the deformation behavior. The result scale can be changed from here. Pick on the isometric orientation. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on ANSYS Workbench, pick on the link which is on the screen or visit my channel.